each region in Gauteng from the first year until they complete the course of their choice. But two, if yes, how does the Premier plan to do this? If no, what are the reasons? And whether the Premier will consider building a mining college in Gauteng, which, which will, among other things, expose our learners to mining, diamond cutting, and many other skills that this country is in need of, including the running, the very, uh, the running of the very same mines. Nyabo. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Thank you for the question, Honorable Silani. The Houghton Provincial Government has no authority in law to force mines to fund learners. The function of education and training, especially higher education, and training is a national competency and falls within the responsibility of the Department of Higher Education and Training. And the regulation of mining is also the national competency, which is the responsibility of the Department of Mineral Resources. So we have no force of law to, to can force any, anyone to implement uh, that in response to your question. Uh, the sec second question is already answered. Uh, the reasons I have explained already that we have no force of law to can implement this. Uh, whether it's a good thing or not, it's a different thing. Uh, for us, we would love uh, to see as many, particularly black children, uh, obtain higher education and skills development, but we can't force uh, mines. With regard to the question on mining, the building of the mining college, the Houghton Provincial Government is of the view that in this province we have uh, adequate training, higher education and training institutions, including further education and training institutions that are providing skills, particularly in the area of mining. So the key issue for us is, is, a, is a different one. There are institutions that are training. What we need more is a, a, to be able to undertake mineral beneficiation and jewelry manufacturing, which is something we have identified as part of our reindustrialization plan. Uh, linked to this is the, the need to build the necessary infrastructure that will support mineral beneficiation in our own country. And it is for this reason, Honorable Sindani, that we are busy right now building the jewelry manufacturing precinct at the OR Tambo Airport as the first major undertaking by government to provide the infrastructure that will be needed to promote local beneficiation. Thank you. Do you have a supplementary? Yeah, no, 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 so, it puts the man who should go to the Saman Zawako, a Uba Force, Lady Spin, Puma, Fumuas and Jim Wuchi. I will now a man of Wuchi will never approach or buy engagements. I will get it direct, must beg again direct. On a buying case of Salina, put now born, born a jay, Nabin in a corner now, more about money. Mine <laughs> Yeah, 
ukuthi la mama na le zinga mbane ni zimeshini zinga pele lukule corporate social corporate responsibility programs ebana supportwa zi extend the footy sana mwa wati na sinombo ni ukuti imana ba yensa ili ili Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Now that uh, Honorable Sindani has uh, amended the FOSI, uh, and he says he understands that we don't have force of law to force, uh, we, uh, with regard to engaging the mines in this province, in fact, uh, we have, we're going to have a meeting with the different mining houses, uh, firstly in the West Rand and in Ekuruleni, uh, to deal with important issues that we have been uh, engaging with with our municipalities and communities, affected communities. Uh, and some of those issues have to do with their contribution to development. Uh, some of them have to do with the land in the hands of the mine houses. And a lot of this land is currently not being utilized. We would like uh, to engage the mines on uh, using this land for development, economic development, human settlements, activities, uh, including what, the, what more the mines can do uh, to address the challenges facing our young people. And of course, training and development is critical there. Uh, and then in the area of Ekuruleni, we're also going to be engaging the mine houses there. We've got a major problem about illicit mining, illegal mining activities. And a lot of the stuff that comes out there finds its way into, so, uh, into uh, areas that uh, are of great concern to us. So there is no issue. We, 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 are, we are going to be engaging with the mines. Uh, and I'm glad that you understand that we can't force them. We can only uh, engage with them to push, yes, the agenda for social transformation, which includes skills development and education and training. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Madam Speaker.